welcome to my channel, Nurse Rachel and Crafts. Today I want to film overview style unboxings for you from Diamond Art Club. So these paintings came out last Saturday, I believe, November 19th. And I went a lot of wild last week because there were just so many beautiful ones that I really loved. And I just said, YOLO, let me get them. So I believe the four that I'm going to show today, I believe these are sold out, but they are not limited edition, so they will definitely be back. So the ones I wanted to show is Odie, Guardians of the Garden, look at him. The Wicked Witch from Ennis Guerrero, I love her. Big Sis from Ivy Dolamore, and Dimensions from Dakota Dotweiler, I believe. So overview style means that I'm just going to focus on the painting, the actual painting and canvas and the diamonds. These type of videos are great for those of us who are not new to Diamond Art Club. We've been shopping with them forever, so we know all the ins and outs. However, if you are new to Diamond Art Club, I do have everything listed in my description box about this company. Spoiler alert, they are my absolute favorite. I love everything about them. So I do have all the info in my description box. Also, if you are new to Diamond Art Club and you've never purchased from them, I do have a discount code, Nurse Rachel, that will save you $10 off that first purchase. All right, let's start with Odie. First up is Odie, Guardians of the Garden. Look at that cutie. This is a square diamond painting. And then look at that size. 42.8 by 55.8 centimeters or 17 by 22 inches. The perfect snack size. All right, here's the little sticker that you'll get. Love it. And then I will share what's in the toolkit, the things that are different, just because I know even those of us who shop with Diamond Art Club all the time, we do love to see what's inside of our toolkits. So let's see, my applicator pen and grippy will be pink this time. Love that. Got my tweezers, my baggies, my wax, my tray. Oh, my cover minder is a watermelon. <laughs> Look at that. And my magnets came off, but you know what? I have some, I forget if it's E3000 or 6000 or 7000, <laughs> but I do have some of that. So I'll just um, glue it back on. Got my multi placers. And then look at this washi tape. Ooh. Beautiful, it's like glitter, so pretty, love it. Okay, here's this larger sticker sheet. Look at that art, love it. Guardians of the Garden, all right. Let's look at our colors and symbols. I see 51 colors in this one, wow. Our diamonds. Let's look at that color palette. Ooh. That's pretty. I see a lot of pink in here. Okay. Ooh, okay. So it's going, it's long ways. Love that. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. Oh. Y'all, this size is amazing. You know, I love a big old diamond painting. I really, really, really do. But when I see these little ones, it always makes me think, why don't I do more of them? Look. Look at Odie. Richard Lorenz's birds they are just happiness in a painting. I always smile when I see his work. They are so adorable, so cute. I wish that he had a TV show of his birds because he's so great at 
putting character in his paintings. You can really get a sense of their personality and the ones that are feisty and just absolutely crazy out of their minds. And so I just wish he had a TV show that I could watch of his birds. This one here, Odie, he seems really relaxed and kind of chill, right? He doesn't seem like the type of bird who would get overly excited about something. Like he can handle business without being too dramatic. <laughs> At least that's what I see. I love his goggles that he's wearing, that hat on his head. Oh my gosh. His little feet. Is he wearing shoes or socks? <laughs> he's definitely wearing something on his feet and I just think it's adorable. I love the ribbon flying behind him. That stick he's carrying. What do you guys call that? The berries that's hanging off of it, they look delicious. That beautiful, beautiful butterfly, so beautifully detailed. And I love that even though this painting is a 42.8 by 55.8 centimeter painting, 17 by 22 inches, so it's really not too big. But I love that you still get all that detail. Nothing has been sacrificed here. In terms of detail, you can clearly see what everything is. Those beautiful flowers. I love flowers, but I am no pro at the different types. So if you know what those beautiful flowers are called, I would love if you could let me know. And then all those beautiful bubbles floating around. I just love it. I love all the colors here. All that red, orange, yellow, pink. There's some green in there. The focal point of the painting is really highlighted, so I love that. You don't have to worry about the main part of the painting being lost in the background. Okay, let's look at the diamonds. All right, starting off with this blacky brown 3371. I love this color. Love it, love it. Two bags of 758. Two bags of thirty-seven seventy-two. Let's see. It looks like three bags of thirty sixty-four. I bet all of this will be in the background. Another beautiful chocolatey brown six thirty-two. So pretty. Two bags of thirty-seven seventy-eight. Two bags of thirty-seven seventy-one. Ooh, this orange is beautiful. Nine forty-seven. Wow, love it. Look at this pink. Nine fifty-six. I'm also loving that Diamond Art Club. They are using more DMC numbers because there's some I've not used before. Like nine fifty-six. I don't think I've used this color pink before. Another beautiful orange. Look, just a tiny amount of black, 310. So if you do not like this color, this is a very, very small amount. My favorite purple, 550. Here is our first AB, 113. Look at that iridescent rainbow sparkle there. That is gorgeous. It's like a bubblegum pink. So pretty. More pinks and purples. More browns. So pretty. Here's our second AB 132. It's like a true orange, right? Like an orange with just a hint of yellow in it. So pretty. That's a pretty pink, 224. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Love, love, love it. What a pretty color palette, right? Here's our third AB 129, a very soft yellow. I love this color. It's so pretty. So pretty. Here's our fourth AB 108. To me, this looks like a grass green, right? 
Love it. I love this color green, 935. I've been noticing Diamond Art Club use this color green a lot too. And I just love that color. And then this is our fifth and last AB 141, the beautiful white AB. You can never go wrong with this color AB. Such a beautiful highlight color. Such a beautiful color palette. All right, let's see where the ABs go. All right, that first AB is 108. That grass green is labeled as number one. And I'm seeing it here on his little feet. And again, I don't know if those are socks or shoes, but they're highlighted with that beautiful green AB. <laughs> I just love this one so much, y'all. Oh, I can't stop laughing. All right, in the very center of this beautiful flower here, the lighter green that you see, green AB. And then let's see, up here on some of the leaves, they will also have green AB. Beautiful. Oh, and on the leaves of those raspberries. Love that. The second AB is that bubblegum pink 113 that's labeled as number two. And it's just sprinkled a little bit on these raspberries here, which I love. I love that decision to put that there. Also, oh, quite a bit right here. That color pink, all of that, that big old chunk, all of that is pink AB. And down here, there is a loud car passing by, so I might mute that sound if it gets too much. But all of this that I'm pointing to, Pink AB. Wow. Love that. And over here on this flower as well, or these flowers. Um, so right here and then right here. Love that. The third AB is that soft yellow 129. It's labeled as number three. Let's see. Where is that color? Oh, I see it here highlighting the front of his head here, his little cap. Um, I see some here, right here. Ooh, and that snail, the yellow part, all of that is yellow AB. So that snail is almost completely highlighted with yellow AB. Love that. And then it's just a few sprinkle on this butterfly there the fourth ab is 132 the beautiful orange one is labeled as number four and yes it is on this butterfly it's that color there the brighter orange color all of that is going to be orange ab wow <laughs> oh wow yes it's everywhere here quite a bit on his cap there Got a little bit up here and there, right here in the front of Odie, and then down here. Oh, wow. And a bit right there. So Diamond Art Club, they really, really put a lot of ABs on this painting. That's awesome. The fifth and last AB is that beautiful white one, 141. It's labeled as the number five. And it's highlighting on the bubbles. Or one right there. Let's see. More on the bubbles. And sprinkled about here. So those white specks that's on the butterfly, white AB. If I didn't point here, there's some there. A nice big chunk and then back here wow <laughs> okay what do you guys think what do you think of Odie guardians of the garden I love it I love it I love it I want every single Richard Lawrence bird all of them every single one <laughs> Beautiful.
Okay, let's see the next one. All right, next up is The Wicked Witch by Ennis Guerrero. This beauty is a round diamond painting. And let's look at that size, 51 by 71 centimeters or 20 by 28 inches. Not too big, not too small. Okay, here's the sticker sheet. All right, let's see the differences this time. Ooh, ooh, a beautiful soft blue pen and light blue grippy. I actually use these pens, so seeing these different colors this is very exciting for me oh look at this cute little bear look at him and he has that iridescence on him too and my magnet is off on that one as well so again i'm just going to glue it on oh now this washi tape is so pretty look at this how pretty is that all right, here's that sticker sheet. Look at that art. Ooh. Yes. Love, love it. Okay. Ooh, there's 27 colors in this one. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. 27 colors and no ABs. There's no ABs in this one. Wow, okay. So those of you who are really good at enhancing your paintings, I'm excited to see what you guys do with her. Here are our drills. Let's look at that color palette. Yes. Ooh, that color right there, that greeny looking color. Let's see this beauty. Oh, I can already tell I'm loving the size. Oh, my goodness. And this, I can tell the difference on the back. This is Diamond Art Club's newly upgraded velvet coating they're putting on the back. I can definitely spot the difference. Now, their canvases have always been very soft and velvety. This, you guys, is on a whole other level. This feels amazing. So yeah, if you pick her up, you'll get this new canvas material. Love it. Oh, look at this. Look at her. Wow. This is magnificent. Look at this beauty. Wow. Look at the detail you get on a round diamond painting. Once you lay your diamonds down, it's going to look just like this, except extremely sparkly. Wow. All right, what are we thinking? So in the background there, that looks like Emerald City. So I wonder if she's the Wicked Witch from Wizard of Oz. Because yeah, that castle in the background, that definitely is reminding me of the Wizard of Oz. You know, I just love Ennis's art. I love all of her girls. I know she's not for everybody, but I love her art pieces. And to me, when I see these beautiful girls all scarred up like they are, for me, it just tells me that while life is hard and while you have those moments where you just want to give up or you feel like there's no hope for you, there's always hope. And life does go on and it does get better. And to me, it just shows like with the scarring, it just shows that you overcame an obstacle or an issue and that you're a survivor. So for me, that's what I see when I look at her girls. Personally, I see survivors. So I love that. I think Ennis is just spectacular. I truly, truly do. Now the detail in this one is amazing. I love her head, all of that flowy hair, her dress that she's wearing, those ruffles, all the detail. And again, 
you get all of that on a painting that's not humongous so she will not take forever to work on now i know with Odie, last time I didn't really say how much confetti versus color blocking there was. To me, that painting looked like a great balance of the two. On this one here, I'm not seeing either one either, but I do see more line blocking in this one. So if you are a multi-placer, there will be multiple areas for you to line block on. On her head, I see a lot of color blocking you can do. And then on her clothing, it's just small sections of color blocking you can do with the black especially but her hair tons of line blocking on her skin you've got small patches of color blocking you can do i'm not seeing too much of one or the other it's like that perfect balance which for me i personally love i love areas where you can do a little bit of confetti and then a little bit of color blocking it just helps me not get bored yeah she's a beauty all right Let's look at the diamonds. Okay, so we will get six bags of 310, which for an Ennis piece is very fitting, right? Who's surprised? No one. <laughs> two bags of 33.71, and then two bags of 838. Two bags of 37.99. More beautiful grays here. Beautiful shading, right? Look at that. Now that's going to be some excellent shading. Two bags of 413. Beautiful. I love this color palette. So pretty. More beautiful colors. So pretty. I love this green, 501. All right, so since there are no ABs, I'll just show you the canvas one more time. Okay, so this is The Wicked Witch by Ennis Guerrero. So beautiful. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Beautiful. Okay, let's see the next one. All right, this is Big Sis by Ivy Dolamore. This is a square diamond painting. And then look at that size. 55.8 by 70.7 centimeters or 22 by 28 inches. I love this mid-size painting. All right, here's that small sticker sheet there. Love it. You guys, I'm three for three for broken cup reminders. Oh, look at that. It's like a sweet little strawberry. And then my, <laughs> my magnets are off again. So I will be gluing them together. But love it. Look. Oh, how sweet is that? And so fitting with this painting too, right? Here's the washi tape. Love that design, so pretty. Good amount, love it, love it. All right, so here's that bigger image. You guys, it's the colors for me. This painting, look at all the colors in here. Oh, I love the image, but the fact that we get all of these beautiful, beautiful colors, it just, Makes me love it even more. All right, so we're going to get 61 colors in this one with four ABs. Here are your diamonds there. Let's look from this way. Oh, oh, oh. So, so pretty. Okay, let's see her. Let's see. Oh, this one too. It feels like the new backing. So soft. So soft and plush. Ooh. Oh, 
all her books and the wallpapers. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's like a color explosion. So much detail. So much to look at on this one. There is not a spot on this canvas where you are going to feel bored. There is something happening on every single inch of this beauty. Wow. And all the color. Look at this. How fun is this painting? I want to see if my daughter will let me put it on her wall. <laughs> I love this. So again, what I love about Diamond Art Club and what they do with these mid-sized paintings is that you will still get all the detail. Could she have been even larger? Yes. However, I feel like the amount of detail that was captured in the size is good enough. I think the posters look great. The books and video games on the shelves back there, I think that looks good. The TV, you can clearly tell that someone is snowboarding. The can of soda on top of her TV stand, all the little toys and trinkets and video games, everything to me, it looks very, very good. The mess on her floor, oh my goodness. <laughs> I can see the potato chips, a plate, a camera. She looks amazing. That definitely looks like a PlayStation controller in her hand. I just love how she's lying there. She truly reminds me of a teenager, right? And the color, you guys, these colors are so bright and vibrant. I love it. So in terms of confetti or color blocking, it's going to have both in this one. So her pillow, her skin, around the TV, like the actual TV itself, and then the pink of the wall, that's going to be color blocking. But then everything else is confetti. Her posters, all of those books and video games, all the stuff on her TV stand, inside of her TV stand there, and then all the stuff on her floor, confetti. So if you love both like I do, you're going to love working on this painting. And again, there's so much detail, there's so much happening in this painting, there's no chance for you to get bored at any point. It is just color, color, color on this one. Okay, let's look at the diamonds. Right, starting off already with the beautiful blue. Love it. You'll get three bags of 310. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so excited to see all the drill colors in this one. Look at that blue. One of my favorites, 995. Oh my gosh. Our first AB, 141, the beautiful white. So beautiful. Love it so much. Beautiful pink. Ooh, two bags of 38.43. Another one of my favorite color blues. So pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. 37.47. What a beautiful lavender color. Love that. And then our second AB, 138. And look, two bags two bags of this beautiful turquoise more beautiful purples here's our third ab 126 and this looks like a lilac too right like lilac lavender so beautiful Oh, and then a second bag of 141. Nice. So we'll get two bags of 141. Another beautiful pinky purple. Look at this. This whole strippy vibes is pinks and purples. <laughs> All purples. Look. Look at this 
beautiful blue 162 oh my gosh so pretty more beautiful peaks pink purple and blue wow yeah if those are your colors you are going to be in heaven like me we'll be in heaven together <laughs> here's our last ab i believe 111 look at this like a fuchsia so so beautiful Oh, that's pretty. 444. Goodness. More pinks and purples. Oh, that's pretty. 3341. Oh. This is pretty. 3850 and then 958. Look at that shading. Oh. Okay, let's see where the ABs go. All right, that first AB is 111, that beautiful fuchsia. It's labeled as number one. And I'm seeing it all throughout her hair. So this brighter pink it's here just lines and lines of it in her hair all throughout her hair wow i'm going to see if i see it up here at the top anywhere i see it here on the poster as well up here quite a bit on her shoes this color this lighter purple in here it's all over this shoe as well it's on her socks and highlighting her skin here and up here on her hand we have some there and here down here and then let's see she has some on her shirt there this color, all of that, this huge chunk here is that lavender lilac color AB. Wow. That was a lot. Okay, the third AB is that turquoise blue 138. That's labeled as number three. And let's start at the top. So it's this color here. So her bookshelves... All of that color blue will be AB. That is a lot. There are some sprinkled about in this poster. Outlining her TV will be blue AB. Huge, huge amount there. All of this, you guys. All of this color blue, AB. As well as over here. Inside the screen, it's full of blue ab wow continuing to outline it over here okay we did have two bags of that so i'm not surprised that that blue ab is everywhere all right here big chunk there there's some in her hair this color blue all of that is that turquoise blue ab it's down here on her teddy bear and then down here and on her magazine as well. <laughs> wow, that is a lot. All right, the fourth and last AB is 141, the beautiful white. That's labeled as number four. And yeah, it's wherever you see white AB. So on her plate here, it's in her eye. She has four here, one there right there let's see that one is really used as a highlight color so far so i love that 
over here highlighting some of her books and uh, picture frames and toys that she has up here. Up here, highlighting on her shoes, on this one, on the TV, a little bit right here. Now all of this snow, white AB, all of this, all of that, you guys, white AB. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> As if I needed any more reasons to love this one. So the image itself is fantastic. The rendering is beautiful. The colors are spectacular. And it's going to be covered in beautiful ABs. Plus, it's midsize. So again, wonderful. I love this one. I love everything Ivy Dolamore. She is just fantastic. I love her art style. And yeah, another winner here. Beautiful. Okay, let's see the last one. All right, this is Dimensions by Dakota Dotweiler. Love this. It is a round diamond painting. And then look at that size. 55.8 by 83.8 centimeters or 22 by 33 inches. Love it. All right, there's that sticker. Oh, this time it's a darker blue with a darker blue grippy. Love it. <gasps> Look at this cover. How adorable is this? Oh my gosh. It's like a elephant popsicle. How cute is that? And then look, you guys. Yes. The magnet is attached. Look. Oh. Oh, I love this washi tape. Look at that. How cool is this one? Look at all that. Oh, I love this. Okay, here's the sticker sheet. Love it. Look at that art. Oh my gosh. Dakota is just phenomenal. I love her art pieces in the water. Those are some of my favorite. This one has 37 colors in it with three ABs. Beautiful. Your diamonds. Let's see. Ooh, yes. Loving all that blue. Okay, let's see. This one feels like, hmm. This one feels like the new backing as well. How I describe it is it just feels thicker like that velvet coating just feels thicker so yeah that feels like the new backing as well oh oh look at all this color wow <laughs> wow okay oh my gosh Look at this. And again, this is a round diamond painting. Round. And you get all of this detail. And this is without a single diamond placed on it. And look how crisp this painting is. How vibrant in color. You could easily put this on your wall as is. Absolutely beautiful. So if it looks this amazing like this, imagine how spectacular it's going to be once it's shimmery and sparkly. So I still classify this painting as midsize because while it is longer at the 83.8 centimeters or 33 inches, it's thin. 
22 inches, so 55.8 centimeters. So for me, this is steel mid-size. And then the fact that it is round diamonds, you're going to get through this painting so quickly. I am truly just in awe at Dakota's creativity, her originality. This painting is spectacular. This big, massive, beautiful octopus here, so detailed. You can see every single texture that this octopus has. That bottle that the octopus is holding, that ship inside of that little bottle. Look how detailed that is. The light that's breaking through the water, all these beautiful shades of blue and brown. An absolute stunner of a piece. It is no surprise why Dakota's art is so popular and why practically everything she makes with Diamond Art Club sells out so quickly and is in such high demand. It's just wonderful. Now, in terms of confetti versus color blocking with this painting, this definitely leans more towards confetti, but I see a ton of line blocking you can do. So all throughout the octopus on the bottom, that is almost entirely line blocking. So if you do multiplace, you're going to go through him very quickly. And then the water as well looks like a lot of line blocking. The ship inside of the bottle that's underneath the water, that looks more confetti. And then up at the top of the painting, that again is more towards line blocking. And line blocking tends to be more towards confetti. This painting is truly, truly magnificent. It is so beautiful. All right, let's look at the diamonds. All right, starting off with two bags of 310. Look at this rich brown 3857. Love it. Two bags of 312. More beautiful blues. Two bags of 336. So lots of beautiful blues and browns. And then two bags of 803. Two bags of 995. I love this color blue. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So pretty. More beautiful browns. Two bags of 9.96. Love that color. Here's our first AB 120. Look at this blue. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is spectacular. Look at this. Goodness. Beautiful grays. And look at the shading. 413 and 37.99. That's going to be beautiful shading. Another beautiful blue. Here's our second AB 141. Love that. Can never go wrong with that color. This is pretty. 902. More beautiful shading with the grays. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look at that shading. Goodness. That kind of stuff makes me so excited, you guys. Oh, because I just know after all that hard work we do, it's just going to be a masterpiece when finished. More beautiful shading. Look at these. These beautiful purple lavender shades. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's going to be so pretty. And then our last AB 128, this beautiful soft pink here. Okay, let's see where the ABs go. Okay, that first AB is that beautiful blue 120 that's labeled as number one. And that bag was pretty full. So I bet we're going to find this everywhere. I'm going to try my best to find it. So it's this color blue here. So... It is just all throughout the water here, all throughout. It's on the octopus, which is not surprising. So that light color blue, everywhere. This color, that big old chunk of blue, AB. 
And then it's also all throughout this bottle up here, all throughout the octopus. This color blue, all of that is blue AB. Big chunks of it too. All throughout here at the top, all throughout over here. All throughout the water just lines of it so that's where I was talking about the line blocking because it's just lines and lines of the blue AB so all throughout <laughs> if you see this color and you think it's AB it's AB so all throughout here it's going up here so yeah that blue AB was used all over this painting which is awesome the second ab is that pink one 128 that's labeled as number two and i see it up here just a bit and then a little bit right there it's on the octopus's head up here and let's see a little bit on the bottle And then on this tentacle here and then a little bit right there oh and then I see some more here <laughs> all right just in case I didn't get that in shot right there the third and last AB is the white one 141 that's labeled as number three in the bubbles all the white there all of the white inside of this bubble, all of that is white AB. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pause for a second. Um, okay, it's finally making sense to me, you guys, what I'm seeing. Oh my gosh. Blaming on sleep deprivation. <laughs> but okay, so there's an octopus inside of a bottle underneath a ship. And then this octopus with the bottle underneath a ship and then again up here octopus with the bottle and then possibly there's another ship there okay wow that i should be embarrassed that it took me that long to understand this painting but you know what i'm not, <laughs> I'm not. okay so more white ab did you guys know that's what it was all this time? Wasn't an octopus in a bottle under a ship? Octopus with a bottle underneath the ship? Did you? Is it just me, y'all? You know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> if it was. All right. More white. A B. So all of the white in this water. All of that is white A B. There is so much of it. And then going up. More white A B. It's just everywhere. I love it. Did you guys pick this one up? I know this one sold out really quickly. I'm not surprised. It's not limited edition. Nothing that I showed you today is limited edition. So everything will be back. But did you guys get this one? Do you have her other one? Her other one with the octopus in the water? beautiful i also love that that first one is squares and this one is rounds so that if you did love that first one but was put off because it was squares you now get to have something kind of similar but in rounds and if you've never tried diamond art club squares you should try them they're the best in the market there's no company anywhere that can top down our club square drills. They are phenomenal. So you should try them out. Love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that if you did not pick up any of these, but you were thinking about it, I hope this video helped you to make your decision. And again, nothing was limited edition, so everything will be back. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching this video. 
I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you for always being so kind and so supportive. Thank you. And until next time, bye.